Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Eric, call sign N1JUR. And today uh, we've got a special treat. Uh, I'm uh, actually heading over now to a local high school that uh, our club every year goes to their uh, CTE slash engineering seminars where companies are invited to come and basically educate uh, students uh, at this high school on uh, everything related to electronics, software, uh, hardware, and just about anything in the uh, commercial realm. And so they extended an invite, uh, and this is our second year doing this, uh, to our ham radio club. So I'm going there uh, and we're setting up uh, a bunch of different displays. I've got my uh, HF gear with my DX10 and a bunch of other uh, videos and documentation and handouts and stuff. And hopefully, uh, like last year, we'll uh, be educating a lot of the um, you know kids on ham radio, letting them know uh, that it's still alive and well, and that it's a blast uh, to get your license and have fun with it. So come along with me. We'll see uh, what happens. CTE and things are finally all set up. It's uh, quite busy. It's starting to pick up. Uh, but so what we do as a club is that we like to try to get out in the community and we want to just promote ham radio. And so part of that process is just finding things like STEM related activities or CTE type programs where they're just trying to expose as many students as they can to, you know, the engineering hobby and environment. And so we're doing the same for ham radio. So we've got a setup here that uh, is pretty uh, detailed. Got a couple different examples. Say hello, Todd. Hi. <laughs> so we've got a bunch of information from ARL that we've kept and we've used. Um, we're just running a kind of couple of presentations on field day. Um, we've got one of our CW experts in the club here, just allowing uh, students or anybody else who wants to come up and learn how to do their name in Morse code. Um, and we're going to probably be logging into our local net, which will start around seven, to give uh, people you know an idea of you know what uh, ham radio is all about. So we're going to kind of do a little bit more of the event itself, walk around. But uh, this is the start. Okay, so part of uh, the CTA process, we've got uh, our regular scheduled nightly net. So, heck, why not? We're all huddling around uh, the radio here and uh, you know, checking into our nightly net. Uh, KC1 NID. KC1 November 1, Japan United Radio. November 1, Juliet Uniform Romeo. N1, JUR, QSL. Talk to a lot of folks about ham radio, uh, our CW station. We 
had a few people who were able to learn how to get their names in Morse code and just educated the public on how ham radio is very much opening an opportunity for people to just get out and learn about radio frequency and engineering and electronics um, and that it opens the door to you know your future both in education and maybe a career so you know if uh, you haven't uh, made that leap and I ran into a few people that were just on the verge that wanted to maybe try it out um, and we're looking to get their license so hopefully they'll become uh, new hams soon um, get out there try it you know get into the hobby find a great club this might uh, be one of those uh, stepping stones for a future career for yourself if not you got a great group of people and an awesome hobby to get involved in so with that thanks for watching remember to like subscribe and share and as always uh, you can find all your content over at n1jur amateur radio 73